Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about the books that I will hopefully be reading in December. It's December, that's like bizarre. <laughs> I can't believe it's already the end of the year and I'm very excited to read all of the holiday winter themed romances. So these are 12 books that I'm very much anticipating. A lot of them are holiday reads, whether it be contemporary or monster ones. I have a few new releases and just holds that are coming in on my Libby in December. So let's get into these books. I'm first going to talk about the new releases that are coming out. First is Sticks and Stones by S. Massery and S.J. Silvis. This looks like a hockey romance. It comes out on December 7th. This turns out to be an enemies to lovers romance. Our hero despises the heroine, Ren, who is his best friend's little foster sister. And apparently like she put his dreams of being in the NHL at Jeopardy. So he absolutely like hates her, but it's really hard to avoid her because that's his best friend's little sister. Even though they don't live together anymore, they're like all grown up now. Their bond is still very strong and he just can't, he can't get rid of her. And I think this is also possibly roommates because they go to the same college and I think she happens to be the roommate or something like that. Sounds really fun. I'm wanting to read a new like hockey romance and I hope this one lives up to it. Sorry if the angle just changed. I realized my camera was crooked that entire first part of the video. We're gonna forget about that now. <laughs> okay, the next new release is Wed to Jack Frost by Layla Faye. A new Layla Faye book. I will be reading this probably during the novellathon. I think it's novella length, if it's like the other ones. It's like a part of this series where humans get genetically like matched their perfect partner and their monster creatures. So this is Jack Frost. He looks like a big scary monster dude, but also could be a cinnamon roll. So looking forward to that. This one also comes out on December the 6th. Next I have lippy holds that are coming in. So first is that time I got drunk and saved a human by Kimberly Lemming. The next book in the Mead Mishap series, which is a cozy, fun, hilarious fantasy romance series by Kimberly Lemming. I absolutely adore. And yeah, this audiobook hold has taken me like forever and it's, it's supposed to come in in December. I'm like crossing my fingers that it actually happens. And I think this is about the heroine from book one, sister who's missing. That, that's all I know. So <laughs> um, I am very much looking forward to this because like, Kimberly Lemming is fantastic. She makes me laugh like no other author ever has before ever. Another hold that's coming in is, is it Wretched? 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 Wretched or Wretched? I'm I'm butchering that, I'm sorry. Um, By Emily McIntyre. This is the third book in her Never After series, which are retellings told in a more darker tone and having a little twist. You normally get to read about in this series, the villains getting with the main character in the original tale. So I've read Hooked, which is about Wendy and Hook being together and then Scarred, which is a Lion King retelling about like Scar and Sarah, Sar Sarabi getting together. Um, and yeah, I think this one is The Wizard of Oz, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. I'm reading some of my friends' reviews. <laughs> They're saying that it is like a warped and twisted tale on The Wizard of Oz, which is really cool. I grew up with The Wizard of Oz and obsessed with it, and I've never read a retelling of it. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I really want to just continue on with the series because I want to get to the most recent one about like the retelling of The Hunchback of Notre Dame because that was my childhood. So another hold is How to Bite Your Neighbor and Win a Wager by D.N. Brin. This cover hooked me. And the fact that it's about vampires, it's an MM romance, like I'm sold. I don't even know what this is about. Like the cover, the fact that it's MM and it's vampires, like, yes. It was so like dark and gothic. And I really hope, I'm like in that mood, even though Halloween has already passed, I'm in that kind of like gothic mindset still because it gives me like cozy vibes. Ooh, okay, so this is about Vincent and he has suffered four years of being a vampire. He absolutely hates it. And he has survived off of blood by drinking from people when they are asleep and he never really goes to the same person twice. But then he gets a taste of his childhood neighbor and he cannot help but return for seconds. His name is Wesley and he is like a little bit shocked that he keeps waking up with like fang marks on his neck, but he actually thinks this is a perfect opportunity because he needs 
a vampire to help him with research in a lab that he's working on. So he's gonna befriend the vampire that's been feeding off of him and then trick him into coming to the lab. This just sounds really fun. It's a slow burn paranormal MM romance full of laughter, angst, and thirsty pining. I have a long list of holiday reads that I wanna read. And so these are those I think all the rest of the books are like holiday themed and I'm not mad about it. I want to read these so badly. So first is The Holiday Affair by Megan Alexandria. So Catherine is traveling home for her sister's Christmas wedding in Winter Haven, Michigan. It's a small town and she brings a surprise, surprise, plus one, her boss and friend, Cal Parker, who just so happens to be a pop sensation and former boy band frontman. And what starts out as a bad joke slowly snowballs into a full blown fake engagement, complete with lies, one bed, and a bit of substance abuse, a jealous ex, and that special holiday magic. This sounds really good. Like I love the cover, definitely hooked me. Um, but I, I, I really look forward to this one. Then Wreck My Plans by Julian Meadows is going to be coming out on December 1st. And I want to pick that one up. I've been wanting to read Julian Meadows books. And I think this might be like a great toe dip because look how cute this looks. So Lena is coming home for the holidays for Christmas and she's not gonna really tell her family that she's kind of been down in the dumps. She recently lost her job and she doesn't really wanna tell anybody. Um, but she's a little bit surprised when she shows up during Christmas and finds her brother's best friend at her house. They haven't seen each other in about three years and Gavin, the hero, has been thinking of Lena for quite a while and is shocked for the feelings that he has when she pops back into his life. And so they're just gonna try and be friends. They're gonna try and be friends, but you know what happens with that? It turned into something more, okay? You can't just be friends with someone you're pining after, okay? <laughs> then is The Holly Dates by Brittany Cherry. This is a holiday read that she came out with last year that I didn't get to and I love Brittany Cherry, so I'm gonna pick this one up. This one's fairly short, it's like 278 pages, so I think I can get through this one definitely. Brittany just knows how to write a good book and I've read, I think, one other holiday read from her. It's really fun. Next is one I've been dying to read. This is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. I know everyone was like raving about this book last year and has been raving about this author recently and I need to get on the train. I need to. I think this is a romance where our heroine gets like dumped by her boyfriend or something quick like shortly before the company Christmas party. She ends up getting with her ex's boss and wants to kind of like show up her ex at the Christmas party or something like that. I've heard great things about it and it just looks really fun. Pink and fun, like festive. I very much look forward to this one. These next two were ones that are actually off of my Libby because I'm trying to find holiday reads to listen to as well and not just on Kindle Unlimited. And the wait list for some of these books are so long. So two that I know that I'm going to be getting in on Libby during the holiday season is How to Excavate a Heart. I think both of these, by the way, are also sapphic holiday reads. One of the heroines, Shani, ends up running into May with her mom, Subaru, on accident. And then a dog walking gig puts her back into May's path. May's path, goodness. Um, the fossils she meant to be diligently studying are pushed to the side along with the breakup she had. Then they're snowed in together on Christmas Eve. <gasps> I'm a sucker for snowed in romances, yes. As things start to get more serious though, Shani's hurt over her ex-girlfriend's rejection comes rushing back. Is she ready to try a committed relationship again or is she okay with just being a passing winter fling? That sounds really cute. But hopefully May's okay after getting hit by the cart. <laughs> okay, and then the other sapphic Christmas one that I got off of Libby is In the Event of Love by Courtney K. Okay, so Morgan is a event planner in Los Angeles and her career has kind of been blowing up after a tabloid mishap. So she's headed home for the holidays for a retreat, if you will. She's going back home with breathtaking mountain vistas, quirky townsfolk, and charming small businesses. And also her one-time best friend turned crush, Rachel Reed. The memory of their perfect doomed first kiss is still fresh in their mind as a fallen snow. Ooh, and Rachel works at a lumberjack farm, like a tree farm, and she calls her a lumberjane. That's so cute. And then Morgan discovers that the Reeds are struggling with their tree farm. So she decides that she can put Heartbreak aside to save the farm by planning her best fundraiser yet. That sounds really cute. Okay, Christmas tree farms remind me of Love Light Farms and I really enjoyed that. So I think this is gonna be really cute. And the last one that I have is the one I'm probably anticipating the most. I don't know what that says about me, but this just looks so good. This is Kidnapped by the Krampus by Emily Shore. This is on Kindle Unlimited, by the way. And this looks so good. 
<laughs> this is about Twyla and she's contemplating whether or not Krampus is real. That's the question burning in her investigative journalist mind as she sneaks into Krampus world to learn the truth about the eccentric CEO who always wears the monstrous monstrous holiday costume. After sharing a drink with the mysterious and quiet CEO, the last thing she expects is waking up with no clothes in the most beautiful winter castle. This horned heart throbbed billionaire kidnapped her. Despite the language barrier, she soon, lear soon learns that his punishments are hot enough to melt the North Pole. <laughs> that sounds so fun. Like it has a lot of my like buzzwords, like language barrier, kidnapped, monster romance. Like I am sold and I will be picking this one up very soon. Anyways, there you have it. Those are the books that I will hopefully be reading in December. I know a lot of holiday reads, but that's very much what I'm in the mood for. Um, let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to or what books are on the top of your TBR for December and all like the Christmas romance recommendations, obviously. I'm going to be posting in December a lot of videos. <laughs> I'm actually doing Vlogmas this year, so there's going to be a video every single day of the month and two of those videos are going to be like Christmas holiday recommendations. One is like more contemporary and the other one is more alien monster. So um, yeah, you can look forward to those videos when they come out. And anyways, if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a snowman emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.